Hi third graders. So this little video is going to help you on what you're going to be doing in the computer lab today, which is Typing Pal. So the first thing you need to do is get to the Foothill website. So on your desktop you have a little mouse. I don't have it on this computer. But once you click on that mouse, you will get to the Foothill website, which of course looks like this. Then I think most of you know the next steps. Just go to Students. Links for Learning. And then once you get to Links for Learning, you got to find Typing Pal. There it is. And remember, you want to click on the blue, uh, not the picture. And you know when to click because your mouse turns into a hand. You see that? You click, and this is it. So your username and password is really kind of close to what you would type in uh, when you log into the computer. The biggest change is that you do not put any dot. So I'm going to log in as a third grader. So you can see what it looks like. So BVSD and then a full lunch number. And then you click login. So once you're into here, what you see are these tabs up top. You have home, learn, move on, and results. And then you have these three big icons. So the first one says, are you new, which I think all of us are, to Typing Pal? That's where you're going to want to start. And if you click on it, we're not going to watch the whole thing. It says uh, seven keys to success. Uh, you click. And what this is, it's like a little video on how to uh, type. As a matter of fact, I think we are just going to watch it together right now. So seven keys to success. Number one, accuracy. And what accuracy means is that you are clicking the right keys. Think about shooting a bow and arrow. Being accurate means you get right in the middle. Two is how you sit. You can see how this student is sitting. That's really important. If any of you play piano, this will probably look familiar. Three is using all of your fingers. Remember, people who type well use all ten fingers. Sometimes you'll see teachers and parents who just use two fingers, and you call that pecking. Pecking is not typing, and you'll never be a fast typist if you do it that way. Four, you want to make sure that you have proper lighting. You want to be able to see the keyboard. Five, you got to make sure you pay attention. This is going to be the hardest thing to do, is you don't want to look down at your keyboard. You want to keep your eyes up. That way you'll always be able to type faster. Think of it as like playing the piano. You don't look at your keys when you play the piano. You shouldn't. You should be looking at your screen or the notes. And six, you tap gently. You don't want to hit too hard. They're not drums. So it's just gentle typing. And the last is you don't give up. It takes a while to learn. You'll get it, but you got to just give it practice, practice. So those are the seven steps. We're going to go back. And so that what that is. So let me go back to home. And now we are going to go to, oh, this is your change. You can change things. The only thing you're going to want to change is this right here. You can change your person if you want. But everything else I really want you to leave alone. So for this student, I'm going to leave it on Tofino. And then here, go into my course. So this is where you want to start. So the first thing you have is an initial test, and everyone should do that. Your initial test, if I click on it, and I'm going to click Start, is basically a way for you to know how to start typing. It's a little tricky, but this is a way for you to see how much you know about typing. And if you know a lot, you'll do pretty well. If you don't, which most of us don't, it's going to take a little practice. If you get confused or you're lost, or you're like, eh, I don't know how to do this, you can just go back. And you can do it later. You know if you finish it, because right here, that will become a red dot. Step one, if you want, this might be an easier place to start. These are your different lessons. Here's the deal. You want to do these in order. Because this gets easy, a little harder, 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 harder. And so here's your step one. 
and it tells you the letters you'll be working on. So if I click on that red apple, it shows you where your finger should be and what you'll be clicking, and then you click Next. And then you click Start. And so this is what it looks like. So I'm going to click the J, the big space bar, J, J, space bar, J, 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 space bar, F, F. And so this is what you do. It seems kind of simple, but this is the perfect place for you. Oh, I made a mistake. A perfect place for you to start. So I'm going to click back because I need to show you a little bit more. And you can see this is still a red apple. Once you finish the exercise or this step and you did it well, your apple becomes an apple core. But if you do it and you didn't do well, you have an apple and you have a worm in it. And you have a worm in it and that means you need to do it over. Once you have four apple cores, you do the test. Then you go to step two. Here's the tricky thing. When you do step two and all of these, these letters are actually part of this also. So this will be in here. For step three, you'll have these two steps in here. So they get bigger, 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 bigger. So there's lots of different things for you to work on. You can see how much there is. This isn't something you'll finish in a day. Probably not even a week or a month. But you might get all the way here to the bottom. If you get all the way to the bottom, you can always move on. And then move on, well, these are all these more exercises. Just to let you know, and move on, there are games too. And in your games, you can play these. These are games that will help with your typing. I wouldn't start here, but this is something you can do once you're into it, and then you need a little break. So remember, you can do Typing Pal anywhere in the world, as long as you remember your username and password, and you can look on the bulletin board to help you, and you have internet. Good luck, guys. Have fun.